Is the MCU working towards a soft reboot? And if so, what might a restructured universe look like going forward? The MCU has rapidly grown into the single most profitable movie franchise in history, with a box office surpassing even the likes of Star Wars and The Fast and Furious, among many others. Recently, however, rumors have been circulating about a soft reboot following the events of Secret Wars, one that would edit parts of the Marvel timeline into a new history. So what might this new reality look like? How would it change some aspects of the universe while also leaving others intact? Well today my friends, let's explore what a soft reboot might look like, and how it could simultaneously preserve the integrity of the franchise so far, while also retroactively changing a few key aspects. The catalyst for this theory comes from the imminent inclusion of the Fantastic Four and the Mutants, who are both incredibly vital cornerstones of the comics where they originated. Up until now, the MCU has not had the rights to these characters, and famously had to build the universe on lesser known heroes in order to allow the franchise to thrive, which they were massively successful at with characters like Captain America and Iron Man turning B-grade comic book heroes into A-grade movie heroes. This had several benefits, but it also had a few drawbacks. It allowed lesser-known characters to jump into the limelight, and made heroes like Iron Man and Captain America household names. One of the drawbacks, though, is that the history of Earth-616 has to be explored without the presence of mutants or Marvel's first family. In the original source material, Magneto was a survivor of the Holocaust, and Wolverine fought alongside Steve Rogers and Bucky on several occasions before before Steve would eventually go into the ice. Mutant struggles have been a cornerstone of the universe for decades, and the X-Men were formed as a way to offer persecuted mutants refuge. Due to the underlying rights issues, and who owned which franchise, many of these heroes were not explored, and this poses a substantial problem now that Marvel has reacquired the rights to these iconic characters. There are only a few ways that Marvel can introduce a complete roster of mutants without addressing their absence from the last several decades. For a while, we've published several theories about where some of the older mutants may have been and why they haven't been present for the first decade and a half of the MCU, and now we seem to have an answer for this. Since this is a topic we've covered several times already, we're going to briefly cover it here. But the shorthand is that now the mainline X-Men seem to be from a different reality. We see this in the Marvels, when Maria Rambeau passes through a rupture in the time space and lands on a reality adjacent to the MCU in the care of none other than the X-Men. So then, how does this play into the idea that history could quite literally be rewritten to accommodate this entirely new cast of characters? We believe the answer lies in Battleworld, and specifically, in the ending of the original Secret Wars. In the original Secret Wars story, an imminent incursion between Earth-616 and Earth-1610 threatened to collide the two universes, seeing the two go to war in order to preserve their own respective reality. The collision of these two realities, however, would see the end of the multiverse as it was known, as the rest of reality had already been destroyed by the interference of the Beyonders. From Earth-616, however, the Baxter Foundation worked to create a sort of life raft in order to preserve what few survivors it could, amassing a collection of individuals who were sent into deep space after the collision happened. If this is tweaked, then it's possible that this will set the stage for not just the Secret War story, but also an adaptation of the Avengers vs. X-Men. If the MCU seeks to substitute Earth-1610 for this as of yet unnamed reality from the ending of the Marvels, then we might see the X-Men of this reality and the Avengers that we know clash over the imminent incursion of their two worlds, as each seek to fight for the preservation of their own timeline and reality. On the brink of the final incursion, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom confront the Beyonders, who they had discovered to be responsible for the destruction of the multiverse. In the MCU, it's very likely that this role will be filled by the various Kangs from across the cosmos, or perhaps Doctor Doom, as they have been known to ravage entire timelines with their conquests. If Strange and one of his close allies, be it Doom or someone else, can find a way to confront the Kangs in mass, then it might reflect this encounter between Strange and the Beyonders from the original comic. What's important to note here is what happened after the conclusion of Secret Wars, though, and the reboot. On Battleworld in the comics, the Age of Chaos and Unrest was brought to an end when Doctor Doom assumed complete control and divided the reality into different domains, each with their own Baron or Baroness presiding over their respective faction. Some of these realities were assembled from fragments of multiple timelines who reached an agreement while others won by conquest, and travel between the providences was highly discouraged. 
Ultimately though, rebellion sparked and numerous provinces banded together in order to overthrow Emperor Doom from his position of complete superiority. With the aid of multiple Mr. Fantastic variants and Molecule Man, the rebels were ultimately able to strip Doom of his power, at which point his version of Battleworld quickly fell apart, though this would not be the last of Battleworld as we know it. Right now, we don't know if it will be Doctor Doom to fill this role or if a Beyonder may be adapted as the villain in Secret Wars. But after the ashes fell on Battleworld, the multiverse had re-entered its cycle of rebirth and was being repaired. The inhabitants of Battleworld and their memories slowly erased, causing them to forget their own homeworlds after a certain amount of time. And after Doom's grip on Battleworld was weakened, the territory became home to the new contest of champions. Here, the elders of the universe sent their own personal contenders after the restoration of the multiverse, but the heroes who returned home had their memories edited. Afterwards, some realities were rewritten as their characters returned home, and these characters remembered this new past when they got back as if it were their own memories. They effectively had no memory of the differences in their own history, but they still remembered their experiences on their own timeline, just with new context on what was going on around them. Now, Miles Morales and Peter Parker called the same reality home, whereas they had previously been from different timelines, but they each believed this to be their original home. They each had their own proper memories, but they both believed that their lives took place on the same timeline. Some subsequent stories explored the aftermath of this, but for the most part, the few survivors of Battleworld didn't remember the death of the multiverse. But if the Earth is set to be rebuilt from this group like it was in Secret Wars, then this is how history may be rewritten, and by rewritten, we mean a soft reboot. After the multiverse is reborn, the X-Men and the mainline Avengers might be placed on a new Earth with the same history. This would both respect the decade and a half of content that built the modern MCU, while also refreshing the universe with a brand new history. Mutant struggles might have been on the front lines of the latter half of the 20th century. The Fantastic Four may have been active for years, and some characters might return with new castings. If this new universe is built as something of a patchwork timeline, then it's possible that variants of Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Natasha Romanoff, and several others might call this new universe their home. The survivors, whomever they may be, will still have the same past and history that we've seen before. Doctor Strange, Sam Wilson, Shang-Chi, and whomever else stories will remain intact. But this new reality can combine several histories into one. In the long run, this would allow the mutants, the Fantastic Four, and the Avengers to all live in collective harmony, much like we've already seen on Earth-838. They would all have a rich history of experiences to draw on, without any of them being complete newcomers without any experience to their name. And then, they could overlap in ways that haven't been possible until just now. The Illuminati of Earth-838 was designed to be a collection of leaders from all different factions. Avengers, X-Men, Inhumans, Cosmic Heroes, and the Fantastic Four all on one council deciding how to govern their respective teams to work with one another, and the MCU might finally be able to have that too. Each team would have the respect that they have earned, and the MCU might finally begin to feel like a true comic book universe. Until now, the MCU has felt rather empty in comparison to the original source material, where hundreds of heroes and storylines are taking place all simultaneously. In the comics, there is always something going on, but the MCU has had to trickle in the debuts of several heroes over the course of many years, and now it would truly feel like a comic book for better or for worse. But anyway my friends, what do you think of this idea and the MCU enduring a soft reboot in order to edit some of the history in with the mutants, the Fantastic Four, and more? Do you think that this is how the multiversal saga will end, with a reboot of the MCU as we know it? And do you think, importantly, that this is a good or a bad idea? Would it be wise to retcon the X-Men and then Fantastic Four into the past of the MCU? Or is there something else that we have yet to think of? As always, my friends, thank you so much for visiting the channel today. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and I hope you're having a great one.